Alison Bechtel, a famous cartoonist, was born on September 10, 1960, in the town of Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. She was born to parents Bruce and Helen Bechtel, along with two other siblings, one older brother and one younger brother. Allison was not your typical young girl. Rather than having long hair and wearing bows, Allison preferred to keep her hair short. And when it came to things like playing, Allison preferred to hang out with her older brother or younger brother, as opposed to hanging out with the other girls. Allison first discovered her love for drawing at the young age of three years old. When she wasn't drawing, her, along with her mother and two brothers, were busy helping their father to redecorate an old Gothic-style mansion. Bechtel began to notice her father's strange tendencies, which included his obsessive-compulsive behavior towards decorating their mansion. Bechtel also tells of the compassion that was almost non-existent throughout the Bechtel household. She recalls only two times of affection shown between her and her own father. Growing up, Bechtel began to realize that all of her drawings were boys, or characters that looked very similar to boys. Bechtel steered clear of the typical girl's physical persona. She continued to cut her hair short and continued to take on the mannerisms of a male. As she grew through her teenage years, she struggled with wanting to tell her parents that she was a lesbian. At age 19, while away at college, Bechtel came out to her parents via letter. She claimed that this was indeed the best way to relay the news to her family. A week after her parents received her letter, Bechtel found out from her mother that her father had been in multiple relationships with other men, some of those relationships being with her father's own students. A few months after this phone call, Bechtel was told that her father had been in an accident. Bruce Bechtel had been hit and killed by a sunbeam truck. Allison still believes that her father's death was a suicide. Allison is very well written when it comes to literature, both her parents being English teachers. Throughout her works, she makes many knowledgeable references to historical literary characters. After her father's death, Bechtel returned to Oberlin College, where she received her bachelor's degree. After discovering Howard Cruz's gay comics, she began to realize that she too could have her own successful comic strip. Bechtel's first comic strip, Dykes to Watch Out For, was syndicated in 1985. Dykes to Watch Out For continued in newspapers for over 15 years. Bechtel married Amy Rubin in 2004 during a civil ceremony. After separating in 2006, Bechtel began dating her current partner, Holly Ray Taylor, they both reside in Vermont. Bechtel still felt that a piece was missing from her work. She longed to tell of what life was like growing up with her father. In 2006, she filled this hole by composing Fun Home, a family tragic comic. Fun Home received many honorable awards and reached number one of several bestseller lists. In 2012, Bechtel published the sequel to Fun Home, Are You My Mother? This comic recounted life from a different perspective, her mother's way of parenting. This comic features phone conversations, therapy sessions, and many more memories of Allison and her mother. A year after its publication, Allison's mother Helen became ill and passed soon after. Bechtel centers most of her work around her own personal identity. Bechtel is a symbol of hope and bravery to not just the homosexual community, but to females as a whole. Bechtel quotes, The secret subversive goal of my work is to show that women, not just lesbians, are regular human beings. <laughs>